I've been plagued ever since I was a kid from the supernatural. I remember as a child waking up in the middle of the night with these these uh, things visiting me, whether it be um, demonic type shadow figures, uh, you know, a kid's dripping flesh, things tearing at my body, um, terrified the hell out of me. I really didn't know what to do. I really didn't know where um, to turn. We didn't have cool television shows like Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters and stuff to really turn to. For me, it's, it's, it's a higher calling. It's not like I feel like, oh wow, I want to be a, a ghost hunter like the guys on TV. I was doing this long before Ghost Hunters was on sci-fi and you know GAC was the big thing you know but I didn't know what the hell I was doing but I was out there looking for something and I was trying to find answers. COPS is our acronym Crossing Over Paranormal Society. Um, we go out and we investigate claims of the supernatural. There's, we uh, have a team that's built up all different kinds of back here I mean back of different characters. I mean some don't believe in this. Um, we have Catholics. We have a Buddhist. We have a uh, almost I guess, a, a, witch, a, a Wiccan. Wiccan. We have a guy that teeter totters even Satanism. Um, Children that struggle with the paranormal. Um, that's my passion. You know, I, I don't care. You give me the, the the greatest building in Arizona that's got the best of claims. I don't. I'd rather take the case with the kid that's haunted that doesn't know where to go, doesn't know where to turn, and help that family out. You know. Do sometimes we kind of push our boundaries? Absolutely. Do I wish that sometimes that didn't happen? Of course. But when you feel called to do something from a higher power, you almost just, you take the good with the bad. And if that means that, you know, sometimes we suffer a little bit for the cause, to helping out that, you know, five-year-old boy, you know, that's struggling, that can't sleep at night, to let him know, hey, look, you're not alone. We are here for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to call us. When we go to another client's house, I'm actually able to sit down and I have been able to calm these parents down. Just being person to person and giving my experiences. So, and that's what they really want. They actually want the stories. They want to hear our life story as well and be able to help them. So when we actually go in there, it's never, oh, here we go, we're done, goodbye. We always say a comment and he always makes sure that they hear it. This, this, isn't, this isn't goodbye, this is hello. We really do feel, me working where I do, dealing with people who have mental illness, I've definitely seen the connection between that and the supernatural. And People ask us, why would you think a mental illness or uh, someone with uh, Alzheimer's would get that uh, more paranormal activity? People with Alzheimer's, dementia, they're heading straight back to where they came from. Kids yeah. that have imaginary friends, they're fresh from the place that they came from. Their animals. minds are open, animals, they're connected. And I feel really blessed to be that guy that people call when something's going on. I mean, this isn't a way of life, this is my life.